Ladies and gentlemen, on a popular demand, we are doing another video which is going to be of me answering questions regarding Massa. I'm gonna leave everything in this video to go on regardless if there are some mishaps or whatsoever. Guys, this video I wanted to make it more focused about answering questions that are frequently asked on Google rela related to Malta, in particular living in Malta. So without any further ado, without any further ado let's start. The first question that it's uh, frequently asked on Google is about the cost of living in Malta. I have done so many videos about the cost of living in Malta. Please have a look at the description of this video so that you can find everything explained in details. However, when it comes to the cost of living in Malta, it is quite uh, normal, I would say. Later on in the video, we're gonna get more details about this. The next question that a lot of people are asking on Google is, is Malta good for living? This is quite subjective, guys. For some people, yes, for some people, no. But if I can have uh, my own opinion and give it out as an answer, then I would say that 100% yes. The next question that a lot of people are asking is, how much money do you need to live comfortably in Malta? Wow, this is another subjective uh, question and answer as well. But I would say that you need to have roughly around 1,500 up to 1,600 euros so that you can have kind of like a comfortable life in Malta. But this is only if you are sharing a room or an apartment, not if you would like to live on your own because rents in Malta are quite expensive. The next question that a lot of people are asking is, can a British citizen live in Malta? <laughs> I think this is since Brexit. Yes, British people, of course, they can live in Malta and uh, they will need to obtain a work visa if they would like to live and work in Malta. The next uh, frequently asked question on uh, Google about Malta is how much is the average salary in Malta? Average sal salary in Malta, guys, it's uh, roughly around 1,500 euros, I would say. That's something that it's on an average regarding, regardless of which sector you are working at. The next question that a lot of people are asking is what are the disadvantages of living in Malta? On my YouTube channel, I do have a whole list about the negative side of living in Malta. But if I have to take several things of which are the disadvantages of living in Malta, I would say that for some people it might be the fact that it's super, super hot over the summertime. June, July, August and even September in Malta, guys, it's like living in a sauna, especially in the month of August. The other disadvantage I would say is that some people might find it claustrophobic because it's a really little island. In fact, I'm, me, I'm coming from Macedonia, the size of the entire island Malta is the same size of the capital city of Macedonia, Skopje. The next one is, is Malta a rich or a poor country? <laughs> well, I would say that Malta it is a rich country. However, it's funny that you will... There are like, for example, about the local people. You do have local people, Maltese people, that they really show off that they are super, super rich, living in such an amazing villas. And then you have so many other rich people that if you see them out on the street, you might even think that they are dying of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is pretty much in every country. You have people that would like to show off and people that would like to keep a bit low profile if they're rich or not. The next frequently asked question on Google about Malta is, is 3,000 euros a good salary in Malta? Oh, wow. 3,000 euros, if we are talking about uh, gross salary, that would be 2,250 euros roughly on net salary on hand. So yes, 100%, this would be an extremely comfortable salary for life in Malta. The next one is, what is the lowest income in Malta? I believe it's around 850 euros, if I'm not mistaken, or 837, I believe. I'm gonna insert it here in the screen. The next one is, what is the best place to live in Malta? Well, this is quite subjective, guys. You can either live in a very quiet area, and the best places for this would be Zuri, Rendi, and Sijiwi, or if you would like to be more central, these are going to be Sliema, St. Julian's, Pembroke, Sui'i, the next one is, do you get citizenship if you buy a house in Malta? Yes, 100% you can, but that will cost you the whole system roughly around 1 million euros. The next question is, how long do you have to live in Malta to get citizenship? Okay, so this is about naturalization. You have to be in Malta 
at least for 10 years, so then you can apply for a Maltese citizenship. Or if you are a non if or if you are a non... Uh, why did I say it twice? Why I'm going to ruin the video at the end? <laughs> Where was I? Ah, yes. Or if you are non-EU citizen, you can get married to an EU citizen or a Maltese citizen and you will be able to apply for a Maltese citizenship after five years of marriage. The next question that people are asking, can I move to Malta without a job? Well, if you are a non-EU citizen, you do need to have any type of visa to live in Malta and 100% you need to look for work so that you can get a work permit, in fact, a residence permit. So, yes, without a job, if you are super rich, yes, you can live, but if not, then you definitely need to look for a job. The next frequently asked question about living in Malta is, what is a high salary in Malta? A high salary in Malta is, like in every other country, would be something around 20,000 euros a month. <laughs> but no, for a Maltese standard, that would be like six to 7,000 euros a month. What is the best salary in Malta? Okay, I think that this is a question about people asking what would be like the best position to work to get the best salary. I think it's like in every other country, something related to the CEO positions, director's position, financial controllers, gaming companies, and even doctors as well. The next very frequently asked question about Malta is what are some problems in Malta? Ooh. I think that the biggest problems in Malta are going to be the infrastructure, in fact, of how the roads are over here, the traffic, the parking, anything related to the, to the driving in Malta. And the other important thing that I would like to say is the labor shortage. Hence, Malta has around 25% people living in Malta that are non-Maltese. We have a few more questions. Are Maltese people friendly? Yes, they are. They are very friendly, even though you will find some xenophobics moments all around the island which i'm coming up with a dedicated video about this is malta worth moving to yes malta it is worth moving to but as i said this is quite subjective for many people the next question that we have is do millionaires live in malta yes they are there are quite a lot of millionaires who are living in malta both maltese and non-maltese as well now we are going with another question which is where jesus how Oh, near he passed next to me. Where do the rich people live in Malta? Oh, well, they do live in different areas around the island. Uh, you can find rich people in the countryside and you can find rich people in the city life. We have another one. Is 1,500 euros enough in Malta? And I think I mentioned this earlier in another question. Yes, it is, but it gives you like that, I would say the most medium and just a normal kind of system. The next one goes, how much tax do you pay in Malta? Okay, so this is quite subjective as well. But if you go on Malta salary calculator and if you write down the salary package that you are getting annually, it will calculate the tax that you need to pay per year. The next question is, how much is a waiter paid in Malta? Okay, so this is quite subjective as well, but they start from 5 euros and 50 cents going to 6 euros and 50 cents. And now we are going with the last three questions. Where is the cheapest place to live in Malta? Well, cheap places you can find all around the island, guys. You can find even in the most central areas, but I would say that the, roughly the most cheapest areas to live in Malta would be Marsa, Bormla and Hamrun. We are going with the next one, which is the best job in Malta. Oh, this is quite kind of repetitive from the previous one that I already mentioned, but the ones that you can, let's say like this, the easily ones that you can find are in the catering, in the hospitality sector. And the best one that you're going to find, they will be in the iGaming sector. The next one, what we have is, what should I be careful about in Malta? Ooh, be careful that you're gonna find me on the street and you're gonna be at the back of the video like these people at the back. <laughs> no, uh, what to be careful about? Well, Back in the days, we used to have pickpocketers in the buses that they were attacking older citizens uh, who were pretty much on holiday here on the island. What to be careful? Well, I don't know, to be honest. I'm not careful on anything. It's quite a safe country. So, yeah. And we are going with the last question for today, guys, which is what is the safest town in Malta? Safest town in Malta, I would say it would be Rendi, which is in fact a village. I can't believe that one more time again, 
we did another video of me walking down answering question without stopping without any editing guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like it down below don't forget to smash that subscribe button and until i see you in my next one bye